you live. I told you all I would be coming at you from as many stores as I could hit today. Uh, so we're going to start out at Lowe's, then we're going to go to Home Depot and end up at Menards. And I'll try to fix, uh, put in uh, Ace Hardware if I can, but that's an additional 30 minute drive. I don't know that I want to do that. So they've got white rags on sale. The entire box, $11.98. Not too bad. Some damp, whatever. This is just an impromptu. Here's your power stack stuff. If you guys are into the DeWalt line, these new batteries are amazing. I've been telling people that's the future all along, and I did not lie to you. So, yeah, uh, 119 for a single battery. They've got the two pack for 199, and you get one of these tools for free. Uh, not a hack guy. Not going to talk to you about doing hacks or any of that stuff uh, ever on my channel. I just don't believe in them. Not that I've got anything wrong with it. Just don't believe in it personally. So, um, yeah, just your free stuff. 119 or 1998 for the DeWalt twist bit set. We're going to try to get through here with as few people asking me, uh, am I all right as possible? So 1998, here's your item number on that. It's 351032. A little power stack is nice. But here's some exciting stuff. So you have the Flex. This is their six tool combo kit. So it's the recip saw, the circ saw, the oscillating tool, the hammer drill, the impact driver, and the flashlight. Not the turbo on either one of those, but it's $549. It's down a hundred bucks for a flex kit. That's not too bad. The turbo hammer drill, oh no, that's the non turbo hammer drill, is 179. I, sorry about the camera angles, guys. I'm doing my best. This is the turbo flex hammer drill, though. This is the one I own. Uh, it is phenomenal. 199. It's been pretty standard pricing on that for about two months. Uh, the angle grinder at 199. I'm checking to see if anybody's chatting. Live chat, let's go. Anyway, it is what it is. So 199 for the angle grinder. You pull it up yet? Yeah. There you go. Yet. Yeah. Oh, thank you for the thumbs up. Please, do more of that so we can get this out. So Bosch, this is their hammer drill. And you can see it's $99. Uh, the kit, the two tool kit. So it's the Freak and the, the hammer drill, 179. I think it's the hammer drill, might be the drill driver. The Freak by itself, they're still doing the uh, buy one of these and you get a four amp hour battery. Uh, this store is really not great at uh, putting stuff, but limited space anyway. Pardon me. A little Bosch twist bit set here. Down to $7.47. It's 21 pieces. It's actually not bad. You have the rotary hammer for $179. Uh, and that is, you can see, you get the free battery kit with that. So $179 down from $219, so a savings of about $40. Bucks. Sorry, guys. I, I went to see your comments, but uh, it's they're not pulling up for me. None of this DeWalt stuff here is on sale, but you can see they have some blank spaces. Blank spaces tell me that there's stuff maybe coming in, stuff going out. Now this little Cirque saw here is on sale. It's at $99. It's down from $129. Uh, it's like six and a half. Six and a half inch Cirque saw. Not bad for a big hand. <laughs> Uh, none of that, but I did walk, I, I walked through the store already once. 
Uh, so a, a lot of the Metabo HPT stuff is on sale, including these bits. So when people are telling you that <laughs> there's no way I'm finding these deals in store, well, here you go, $5.97, down from $14.98. Uh, same over here for the bigger kit with the twists, uh, for the impact rated, very nice. $149 for the triple hammer. Oh, I set off their turtle. Uh, the cordless drill driver, $129. The impact driver, is anybody saying anything? Hey guys, you got a chat, I, I wanna know what you wanna look at. So $99 for the <laughs> subcompact high torque. Kind of an oxymoron there, but it's 99 bucks. Not too bad. Not too bad. The skill Cirque saw is $59.98. Here's a better view of it so you can see. It is seven and a quarter. Uh, and it went up to $59.98. So, uh, still a good deal on it, but uh, not a must buy there. And you can see, uh, still have the die grinder for $39.97. Somebody just said something, I saw it. <sighs> um, router deals or bits? Hey Robert, hey Antonio, nice to have you here. Uh, router bits are deal, uh, I'll get over there. So 139 for the planer is a really good deal. The collated screw gun attachment for your drill, $29.98. Here's a router. The cobalt router is 119. I don't know if that's a kit, it is tool only. But it's 119, and this is not an uncommon uh, cost there. Ugh. Sorry, I'm old, so I make old man noises when I get up. Six and a half inch Cirque saw, 109. The Recip saw, 109. Their impact wrench is 189. Hammer drill, 119 and the drill driver impact driver kit with one battery is 159. And if you need the same kit but with a flashlight and a recip saw, 279. Hey Cody, nice to have you here. Thanks for showing up guys. I know I didn't announce that I was doing this live, so I don't know how well we'll do, but look at this, $69.30 for the brushless hammer drill and the Craftsman line, lots of the Craftsman stuff. $83.30 for the, the drill driver, $104 for the new hammer drill, but that's a complete kit with two batteries, charger, and a bag, so $104.30. Impact driver 9030, awesome price on a SDS rotary hammer, $83.30. Their mid torque 8330, recip saw 8330. As you can tell, I'm only looking at the yellow tags, unless you wanted to look at this. The angle grinder, 49 bucks, 69.30 for that one. Not bad at all. Is there anything you guys want to see at uh, at Lowe's? Look for Bosch radio, please, Robert. Um, you know what? You got it. The buy, the the Craftsman radio is right here. Now, a few weeks ago, I was in this store and trying to buy this, and they would not go lower than ninety dollars for it, even though. Um, it doesn't have the charger and it doesn't have the battery. I offered them, uh, I wanna say like 40 bucks, $45, they wouldn't take it. So it still sits here waiting for no one to buy it. Oh. Hi Robert, how, how are you hanging today? All right, so, oh, 
Here's a yellow tag we didn't see. $19.98 for the Cobalt 21 piece twist bit, twist bit set. But there are a couple of items in this store that I really do like to look at. Uh, here's your Porter cable bandsaw. You've seen me have this on my channel before. Look at that. $175. And I guarantee you they'll go lower if you ask them to go lower on that. It's missing the bandsaw. It's missing the throat plate here. So I guarantee you they will go lower on it than the 175 because uh, let's face it, no one's buying it. It's Porter Cable. It's it, They have to leave it. They have to take it out of the store. So here's your chance. So router 149 for the big router down there, the Bosch big router. It's not bad. Uh, a few weeks ago, we were getting the trim router here at the same store for $99. The skill router table is $111.39. Hey, Jonathan Sherwood, great to have you here. Cody, come get it. It's in uh, Belton, Missouri, Raymore, Missouri. You can have it. it it'll be yours, bud. Great to have you guys. Thanks for bearing with me. Uh, I don't do these live streams very often. I try to con uh, to to concentrate on the quality of what I find. But here are your router bit bits. 109, 85 bucks. At Christmas time, you can get this same kit for like 35, 40 bucks. So I wouldn't be in a hurry to buy any of these. Uh, as far as the router bits go. You may have seen this in my last, or one of my last videos, the DeWalt seven and a half inch compound slide, or 12 inch compound sliding dual bevel miter, miter saw for $549. Awesome deal on that. $399 for the, this is also a slider. Actually, I like this one a little better. I like the build quality on it a little bit, a little bit better. You guys tell me what you think. Great to have so many people for this impromptu thing. But $3.99, there is your item number on this. It is 819980. Sorry, there you go, 819980. And I know, yeah, uh, see Craftsman? over the Metabo. Sad. They must have sold the display, but you can see somebody got a heck of a deal on it. $279. Oh, hey, uh, Pedram, I'll get you some milk. I'd like to have your camera pinned to the top stock to see if there are any hidden gems. Uh, you know what, Fat Cats? I was just going. Uh, I, I was going to make a point of this. As you can see in this store, they have everything kind of sorted out fairly well. However, the trick to Lowe's is to find the places where this stuff shouldn't be. So if you're looking for hidden gems, m most of the time you're not going to find it in the front wall. You're going to find it in one of these aisles, up at the top, maybe over toilets. Uh, I found a, a few years ago the Cobalt 42-inch, uh, the 42-inch the tool chest when it was $202. I found the entire thing uh, over in lumber where it shouldn't be in this store. And then they argued with me that I couldn't have it for that price, but I ended up getting it. So... I know a lot of the Craftsman Mechanics Tool stuff is on sale, and they've got a little display of it over here, but uh, this is one that's made the video before. The little cart, 216 pieces. You can see it's 119. They have two left here in store. Can you read the comments, please? Sorry, technical difficulties with my wife not understanding how to do that. So, and by the way, first time Smurf, 
has been in a <laughs> has been in a video here. Yeah, she she doesn't like that. So the 63 piece Craftsman set, 3H drive, now from $74. Now it's $49.98. Item on that is 1631445. Did they say anything to you? Uh, the compressor nail up. Yeah, we're gonna get over there, Antonio. You're a hundred percent right. Yeah, they do hide them above the nailers. So we have a 150 piece, the gunmetal kit, 179. About two years ago, you could get this exact same kit. Landrin said, "Oh wow, finally get to see the wifey." <laughs> you could get the same kit here, and it was like 45 dollars. So. If your store still has it, wait, sit on it. If it gets down to where you only have one or two, jump on it. But before that, leave it. 267 piece. This is that bag that I showed in the video today that was down to like $75. That was a tool nerd deal. $129 here in this store. I know it'll come down. They have only this one left. But this is not a must buy for me. So $129 for that. The 129 piece mechanics tool set, $89.98. Uh, just a day in the life over here for me. If you recall, if you were watching the channel in December, this exact same one was $99. And now look at it, $169. Inflation kills. That's why you FJB. Hi, sir. One of the helpful people here. Here's your impact wrench again, 189 bucks. What'd that person say? Uh. One second, guys. We're gonna let people pass through because we're in kind of their action alley. <laughs> oh, no worries, Juan. I uh, appreciate you being here. I don't like to be on camera. Yeah, <laughs> well, she's a little person, so. The 71 piece mechanics tool set. It's actually a nice looking little set right there for $49.98. Item on that is 2885960. And you can see they got plenty. So don't buy it. Don't buy it when it's on clearance and they got that many. Let it sit and they'll mark it down. Just people being rude. No worries. So. The 105 piece SAE metric, the mechanics tool set, $79.98. Here's your gun metal chrome, only one left. 150 pieces for 179. I like to pay about a dollar per piece in these because these little bits <laughs> and, and extensions and whatnot that are very cheap, they really devalue it for me. So it's not worth buying unless it's under a dollar a piece. Look, smoke alarm. This, so this is what a lot of people do. They, they just run through and they go, yellow tag, yellow tag, yellow tag. Well, we're gonna head over and we're going to look for maybe some hidden items while we're in the store. Uh, I always like to check out the clearance items first. This store never has a good clearance si section, so don't expect very much. Oh, that's not bad. That is not bad. Yeah, see, this this is the clearance section of my store. Look at it. This, this is a clear indication. And by the way, if you're looking for deals, look for a clearance section like this. This is the I don't give a rat section. Uh, this is how you gauge how engaged the employees are. If it's a mess like this, it means they don't care, they're not straightening it, uh, it's just here, that's a good indication that you're gonna get some deals. Basic garage door opener install, 99 bucks, but look at this. This is the smart garage door opener from 179. So you can control it with your phone you don't need the little button. Let's see. Stuff where it shouldn't be. 
That's the key. Any comments? Got the table saw up there. And down here. You would think they just put them together to make it easier. But like I said, you're looking at a store where employee checkout is high. Anybody recognize this kit right here? This cobalt kit? If it had the item number on there, I would tell you what it is. But this is the one that uh, Joe the Tool Guy and those, guys, those dudes were looking at. Hey, somebody, thank you for the $2 super chat. I appreciate it very much. But that kit, not where it should be. I mean, unless you really want it. Doesn't look like tools to me. But this could just be their overstock area. I'll show you why it isn't. <laughs> but look, they've got the stands, the craftsmen. And with these big toolboxes, look over the door section of your Lowe's. A lot of times those dudes are hiding the markdown toolboxes and the door section are over in lumber. Well, in this case, lumber. Gloves, garbage. Honey, I can't see the chat, so you're gonna have to. Here's your flex stuff. Look, they've got plenty because no one's buying it. There's another one of the skill router tables, the Bosch router table, which is really nice and better buy it. Menard, cobalt, compound sliding miter saw. Item on that, if somebody can look it up for me, is 1413795. Might be a deal on that one. I know a bunch of them were on, di on clearance before. Here's all their display boxes. <laughs> now look at this shit. Oh, I mean stuff. Sorry, did, I didn't swear. He says look for deals by plumbing tools and metabolic kits. Is that Antonio? Thank you, Antonio. I will. Look at this. They got a ton of those miter saws. Why wouldn't they have them in one place is my question. Does your store have the Porter Cable Bandsaw? Yes, Pedram. I already showed it. It's $175. I think, honestly, they'd take $100. Craftsman Toolboxes. Yes, we got a ton of them. Shaka Gillis, Ryobi Tools are trash. Thanks for the $2 super chat, Shaka. I appreciate you, buddy. Look at this. Just makes no sense that they would have them in three different places. Look, your Generac. Right over here, you've got Generac uh, generators over your doors. That's why I'm saying. Always look in this area. Like they have storage totes. That, that tells you that's where they stuff stuff to just get rid of it, just to hide it. This isn't Toys R Us. It is too, it's man Toys R Us. Not the same kind of man toys that you use, Robert. <laughs> but check this out, guys. Let, let, let's zoom in. That is not one of the Craftsman toolboxes that's super discounted. Sorry. But wanted to make sure. Always helpful. Look. Gloves. And look, just tell me that this store looks like it cares with it looking like this. Does this look like a store that really, I mean, I get you get paid by the hour, but. <laughs> Craftsman. And those are not the truck boxes, guys. Those are just the regular boxes. I don't have the list with me to tell me what item numbers to look for. I remember a few of them. Uh, and normally they all start like, like that one. See how it starts out with a 105? That is one of the ones that I look for that might be one of the super deals on Craftsman. Let's see. Uh, a Craftsman 10 drawer 52 inch. 3087742. This is one of those that was on sale a while ago for like 
$150, something like that, was crazy good. I know a few people that picked it up for even less than that, but that one at this store, I don't know. I can't, I, I obviously can't crawl up there and scan it. Although, I, I do know how to drive one of their little vehicles. <laughs> Some more of those Craftsman boxes. From the, the video today, here is your Cobalt tool cart that's down to $111 in a place it should not be. And just as Antonio was saying, compressors. There's your compressors up there. Look at this. Customer service rack up here. That could be one. Because that is not a number I'm used to seeing, sorry. Take the item number, pull it up at the register. That's a great idea. Jeremy Nguyen, hello. Squirrel. Is the Quarter Craftsman 8 amp 14 inch chainsaw on sale? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'll get to the outdoor power equipment here in a second. It's on the other side of the store. Pardon me, sir. And craftsman Ugh. vacuum cleaner. Mother Day's coming up, though. Get her a Craftsman vacuum cleaner. Uh, this is the store. If you guys saw, the Metabo nailers are all on sale here, including the cordless. 319 we know that'll go down to 199 bucks. All right, we're going over to, we're gonna head on over to the uh, outdoor power equipment, which is all the way down here. Just bear with us. We'll be done and out of this store in just a few minutes. I can almost reach it. Well, come on, Jonathan. There's the Cobalt tool cart. $111 for that tool cart, by the way. It's a crazy good price. And this door doesn't have it marked right, but if you scan it, it comes up to 111 bucks. Uh, and this is actually the best Lowe's store in my area. And not just for tool deals, but it's the cleanest. And this is the one that all the employees, uh, just, they don't care, to be honest with you. Do you guys want to look at stuff other than tool deals? Here we go. Avoiding people. I'm holding my arms out. Jump. Well, some people wish I would jump. <laughs> look at this. $2.99 for the Craftsman 2800 PSI gas pressure washer. If you're going to start a pressure washer business, 2800 PSI is not enough. You want to have at least 3,000 and look, 3,300 for 469, not a good deal. If you want to go cheap, if you're just looking for something around your house, all of these green works will go down uh, dramatically right around uh, end of July, maybe into August. They're all gonna go down. I just picked this up a few weeks ago. I'm gonna do a review on that with my DeWalt pressure washer. Gas is a bad word in California. That's California, sorry. So is fuel. No, I'm not seeing any outstanding deals. This is the wrong time of the year to look for deals on outdoor power equipment, but every once in a while you get lucky. None of the Husqvarna stuff is marked down for me right now, which is unfortunate because I do love me some Husky. Let's see. I'm just scanning the price tags, guys. All right. Four-letter F-words. Well, my favorite is free. 
If you guys can figure out a better four letter F word than free, you let me know. So the fuel and string and whatnot, that's all on sale in Husqvarna. <laughs> they did have sales on this stuff here uh, last week, but obviously season's here. So everything is marked up. Fart, fart is also a four letter F word. <laughs> Also, what good some of you bring to the world. Oh. Look at this. 56 volt Ego. Self-propelled rear wheel drive lawnmower. $4.99 down a hundred bucks. Fifty-six volt self-propelled four ninety-nine. Fifty-six volt rear wheel drive self-propelled five ninety-nine. Oh, they're kind of like my ex-wife. A little schizo on the prices here. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to continue to be live, and you're just going to drive with me as I go to the Home Depot right now. So we're going to finish up here at Lowe's. I'm going to drive over to Home Depot. You get to be part of my experience. $249 for the pole saw. I don't do these live streams very often. Is there a Honda lawnmowers at Lowe's? So my Lowe's here, they only carry Craftsman and Ego. And all of these are way too small for my lawn. Sorry, I had to answer somebody. I saw Honda lawnmowers. You mean push mower? I didn't see any. There's Smurf again. <laughs> Freak, funk, fall. Anybody count fall in there? All right. <sighs> Logs. I laid a log this morning, it was something else. I'll be honest with you, I was impressed. And by the way, guys, this is the very quick version of what I do when I come in here. Uh, normally, I spend a couple of hours in each store just running through to see for deals for y'all. Woohoo! <laughs> see, I told you. Marked at the wrong price, but when you scan it, it comes up 111. Which is why, when you're when you're at a Lowe's like this, always scan the items, even the clearance items, just to make sure they're ringing up at the right price. A lot of times they're not in a clearance item. They will take an additional additional amount off if you ask. <laughs> Fire truck? That's not a four-letter F word. <laughs> you guys are killing it today. See, like this. We know that these are $18 in some locations. It's actually $23 here. Uh, I scanned this a few days ago. It's $23 here. This tag still says $47.97. Their pricing team here is atrocious. By the way, this is the place where I bought the Craig Crosscut Sled for $15, the same store. I do come here quite frequently. Oh, all right, to the depot of home. My poor Smurf. What's that? That's better than advertising low prices and not having inventory. <laughs> That's absolutely right, Pedram. These, uh, this particular location, uh, I have yet to meet an employee. They'll all ask you if you need help. 
I have yet to meet one that will actually help. So uh, with that, we're going to wrap up at Lowe's. It's about eh, a two-mile drive to the nearest Home Depot, which is a small Home Depot. But in order to make this not a five-hour trip, we're just going to uh, do our best. Hold that. Aim it out the window. Tell me if anybody says anything. What's that? Hey, we are heartbroken. It is an understatement. Our prayers and thoughts and hearts are with the members of Dwayne's family uh, and all those. Who I'm knew pretty him sure the guy with the 911 so, doesn't again, want me to drive it again. again. It uh, didn't come back in the same five, condition that it was five, taken. Five down uh, your Miami way. Come back in the 911. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to weigh in on that because I live there. I mean, live in this road. Field I trip. Mean, literally hundreds of times. And, and that's why I think some of us that. that uh, are, what is that in the car of the white? AM radio. Uh, no, really serious. To put our arms around what exactly transpired. Uh, Hotmail. Um, you know, so the <laughs> you know, No, she's a smurf and I'm trying to do a live stream right now. So all manners and whatnot go out the window as we walk, wait for the gentleman that's going to probably wait till we get to him before he pulls out. And you want to take 595 West? You have to take an off What do they say? What happened in so it puts you out onto 595. The Prime Minister? Okay. You I don't know. Go 595 East from that city. That, no ground base. It's on 911. You are better off staying in your car. You know, or just you know, some you're some stupid people did some stupid that stuff. That's what happened and on 911. Service is going out. Yeah, I'm driving, so it's switching over from the Wi-Fi at the store to uh the the mobile so <laughs> well she's a smurf i mean what's she gonna do crawl down my throat and choke me from the inside Ain't like unlike most of the time oh. what they say you're that guy right there holding the sign <laughs> Uh, the the store is closing. Office Max is closing. The entire store is forty percent off. Uh oh. Well, guess what I'm gonna be doing when we're done. Where are you going? I am going to the Home Depot. Heavy set girl running. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm trying not to get in an accident, so I'm holding the phone and trying to pay attention to the road at the same time. This is what they call distracted driving. <laughs> Impromptu stop. Yeah, well, it's called a red light. They get those here. Look at that America. My car's so American, it's got America in the reflection over there. Uh oh. Watch it. What? Popo, hold the phone. <laughs> no, up. Let them see where we're going, not the dashboard. Well, the cops right there. I ain't worried about that. You're not driving women hey. they think they can get a, a ticket for holding the phone while they're <laughs> riding in a car the desk example what? hey better than you're driving your phone hey listen you guys kiss my butt don't Robert <laughs> Robert do not call me right now I'm filming I know <laughs> Stay safe. Ah, we're good. This is a small town in Missouri, so uh, one of the benefits of coming here and doing this is that uh, you don't get a lot of heavy traffic. I mean, you get traffic, but it's not too bad. I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to worry. Plus, as you can see, I give cushion. I don't ride up on somebody. I always want to give space whenever possible. I am in misery, as Dale Bishop likes to say. 
in case I am in an accident, remember, none of you are in the will. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're almost at the depot. Uh, you can see the sign. It's right over there. Uh, they know me very well in this store. So, Miss Ori. All right. Is there a live stream tomorrow? Jeremy, there is always a live stream on Sundays at 7 Central Standard Time. And we are going to be uh, presenting a new channel to you all tomorrow. And uh, get get your guys' exposure to him. Because he's a good guy, single dad. I think you'll like him. So yes, we are going to have a live stream tomorrow. But there's a depot right over there. They see you rolling, you creeping. <laughs> uh, yes, I did go by uh, Tractor Supply. Good to walk clearance. They do, fat cats. That and uh, by the way, my Tractor Supply does let me film in it. Uh, I've been doing it for so long. They know me well enough. They do let me film in in store. So. There you go. Here we are. The Home O Depot. <laughs> and so bright out here today. It is. 60 degrees and sunny Missouri. All of you guys that are not in Missouri and it's cold there. <laughs> Just, just so you know, I do not feel an ounce of sympathy toward you. Uh, move where it's warm. That's my advice. And I always, I, I do park at the pro side. Because uh, JCCAIDC, that's Jimmy Crack Corn and I don't care. Trying not to get that, guys. You guys sit here. You suck. And if you did, I'd be happy. Uh, let's go. I told you, two minutes. But the uh, horrible fakes. Oh, uh, hobo frauds over there. How you doing? I'm good, guy. I'm great. Just left both. Jerry, Jamie, that's not good. Let's see. Now this particular Home Depot, they do make things rather nice on you because their tool section, they do have a little cart set up. So the heated jacket, the hydro shell, extra large for you little fellas, $64, six cents. Uh-oh. Easy wear harness. By the way, I told my mom that if she didn't start walking on her own, I was going to buy one of these and hook it up to a uh, electric winch or hoist and stand her up whenever I wanted her to get up. You think I'm cutting you? No, I'm not. Tool only, rigid hammer drill for 119 Looks like they have plenty of them. 135 for the gloves, the Milwaukee gloves. Lots of stores have this. This is not. $17, six cents for the Dremel 18 piece uh, sanding and grinding kit. If I grind with something, I, I don't want it to be sandy. It gets in your crotch and bad day. $25, 88 cents for the Milwaukee hammer and nail puller there, pry bar, whatever you want to call it. Let's see if we can get some people up my butt today. Um, this is the area. <laughs> By the way, if you guys don't know, I actually hate Makita. I, I can't use their tools, they're too small. Rigid. Hey, Robert, this look familiar? 
in store 249 hold on what's up Chris I'll just hi how, how you doing you? I'm living the dream how you doing? just a little live stream oh, all right you want to say hi hi 22 people watching right now Oh, he can't, I can't do that. Yes, you just did. Uh, yeah. 149 for the nailer. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> you guys tell me this is so hard. This is so hard to find. It's not. That's what I'm saying. Uh, yes, the rigid nine gallon vacuums are on clearance. I'm trying to avoid people right now Sausage fingers McGee can't hold the Makita toys very well. That's because Makita doesn't make toy tools for men They only make tools for little boys So if you're a or <coughs> Women so if you're a one of those Makita guys Probably not the channel for you. Oh, look at this. The DeWalt router. I know somebody was asking about routers earlier. Pack out drawers are not hard to find here at my store. It, I've not had an issue, but I know people have been telling me $120 for the DeWalt. That's the one I have. <laughs> I also have the cordless one of these. Just looking. Anything you guys want to see at the Home Depot? Yesterday from Acme, that's right. Uh, Antonio does, he's, he's been posting a lot of uh, good Acme deals on his channel and uh, on Instagram and on Facebook. So make sure to give him a follow or a like or subscribe or all of the above. Do all of the above. Rigid worm drive. <sighs> 40 volt Makita is great stuff. I'll take your word for it. 179 for the uh, the the Brad nailer, the rigid Brad nailer. The 442 kit, 179. Perhaps one of the most underrated tools out there, uh, underrepresented on YouTube, is the Max Out Push Brushless Impact Driver from Rigid thing is outstanding it's uh it beats the 840 and the 850 dewalt's easily the oscillating tool the panel light 99 bucks for the panel light i'll get it at direct tools for like 80 bucks maybe the best tire inflator on the market right now 49 dollars for the rigid tire inflator 399 for the 12 inch Dual bevel compound sliding miter saw. How you doing? All right, how you doing? I'm good. How's your husband? All right. He's at stage four. Is he? Kidney failure. That's not good. It's not good. Well, like, he's like 10 points away from needing a. Yeah, just let him know. I'm, I'm on a live stream. Right just let him know I'm praying for him mm -hmm. and I want nothing but the best for him. I hope he recovers quickly. Well, thank you. No worries. Have a good one, Sandy. <sighs> how you doing, sir? You can see I'm I'm not at all friendly. Woohoo! DeWalt guys, let's get down there and closer to it. So you have your half inch impact wrench and your three eighths. Two nineteen, better deal other places. One thirty nine, not too bad. In line with what you'd expect. This store. Uh, is kind of hairy when it comes to deals. It's, they mainly depend on their track, this section here for all of it. But every once in a while you get a home run in this store, uh, mainly because, as you guys can tell, I know these folks fairly well. How much does a rigid tools cost? Uh, depends on which rigid tool you want, Jeremy. You gotta be more, spe more s specific. I underrated you, Robert. Hey, BWs. 
Makita doesn't make tools for the Jolly Green Giant. No, they don't even make tools for men. <laughs> but check this out. Look. Not where it's supposed to be. But this is their no home aisle for power tools. So this is where all of their tools go that they don't have uh, a place for on the shelves yet. So the rigid pancake compressor with the three uh, nailers, that's like 249, 299, something like that is there. As you can tell, I spend a lot of time in the Home Depot, so I know where all of this stuff is. Here's your Husky tool cart. How you doing? Oh, doing pretty good. How you doing? I'm living the dream. <laughs> Look at this. The Makita. Lithium high torque. $289 at this store. Here is your item number on that. 1000 or 1001763258. Happy hunting on that. I just, I can't help it. <laughs> The hammer drill and driver kit, $399. There are better deals on that. Uh, we don't look at the green at all. Here's your Milwaukee tower light. Buy tool. <sighs> Nothing says redneck quite like this. Buy two tools, get a battery free. Uh, I know there was word that you get this and the five and it cancels out where you don't need to buy the other one i can't say if that's true or not legos 179 for your center quarter compound miter saw seems as they're there we're going to go down to their lawn and garden stuff here in a second that's the normal price impact is it I don't know much about it. Right, listening to the live streams while I work. Well, BWs, I'm just happy to have you here. Oh. These are actually better feeling than I thought they would be for Husky gloves. Impact work gloves. Not bad. 13 bucks, by the way. So in this particular store, look, it's Ryobi. You can already see they're starting to limit the amount of DeWalt stuff that is out. Now, and this is their seasonal aisle. So the little DeWalt uh, pressure washer, power cleaner, 149. And that is tool only on that for 149. That one looks cool for 249, 2100 PSI. Uh, this is the one I own. Two ninety nine. I got it for one ninety nine last year, so definitely worth buy, waiting on to buy that. Can you give a close up of tour of the new Milwaukee thousand dollar more if I see it? <laughs> yeah, the Dewalt washers are gone. Online deal is pretty good on that Rocket Light. Yes, it is. Uh, Joe the Tool Guy is an outstanding source for like ha hack deals and all that, or you can just follow the deal team six. Yeah. <laughs> if you could, t I, I do carry certain brands in great disdain. Uh, I, I make fun of Milwaukee or Makita. They make a good tool, just not for me. The hedge trimmer for 149, tool only. It's not their flex volt. 219 for the string trimmer. Is that tool only? They, see, look, they, they man them all together so you can't take them. Thieves bother me. If you're a thief, go to prison. That's my advice to you. Let's head over. Let's see what they've got in lawn and garden. Do, 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 do. 
You guys, anything you want to see? Oh, Daniel, there's always deals on Rigid at the Home Depot. Whether they're good or not, yeah. Right now, I would tell you to hold off on the Rigid stuff. Uh, let's see. Just for right now. On the DeWalt that ends with the bare tool. Oh, that's a good job. That's, thanks. Yeah, Z is Makita that ends with a Z. That's a bare tool. I read the box, guys. I'm kind of crazy that way. There's your 60 volt Toro. Let's, let's see if we can get through. Yeah. Here's your Honda. Who wanted to see the Honda mower? Well, here's the Honda mower. Reading is for squares. $519 for the Honda mower. Whoever wanted to see that earlier. I tried thieving at prison. Most of the inmates don't take anything worth taking. I don't recommend. Well, that's why you always put your soap on a rope. So whoever wanted that uh, 519 for the worst box I've ever seen. The HRN216 VKA or 469 for the HRN216 VKA. <sighs> All right. No tag on that 60 volt Toro. I would have to scan it and I can't scan it while I'm on the live stream, sorry. Murray, that's what your granddad used to use for his mower. Thanks for showing the Honda mower. Hey, Jeremy, no worries, man. Father's Day is the next decent sale time coming up. Well, they're, so the Home Depot lawn and garden stuff, uh, at, at, at mulch and whatnot, started to go on sale this week and they'll be doing little sales on different tools and equipment. We're a tool channel, so I'm not gonna show you mulch. I'm not gonna show you like, whatever, like rat poison or whatever uh, that's on sale. I'm just gonna show you the tools. I wonder if that Honda mower uses a Briggs & Stratton engine on it. <laughs> you would think Honda would use Honda. I have this, save your money save your money unless you got a uh, an ex, uh, a 3000 psi or higher mo uh power washer just save your money on that this tor this toro stuff doesn't look it actually doesn't look bad heavy though it is very heavy probably three four hundred for the toro gas mower five to six hundred for the battery powered uh that i don't know like i said no tag on it and I can't scan it. Let's just see. I want that little chainsaw. If they have it. Let's see. Nothing special on the But look at this. Look, look at all this. And they have space. It's not like they've got no space. They have space. They're just not pulling down. The Toro gas and battery tools are good. Yeah, I think so. I've never had an issue with Toro stuff uh, when I used it in the past. Here's your baby puke. This is what happens when you give your baby too many string peas or, or the, the, that baby food peas. This is the color. Just so you know, when it goes through their digestive tract. Look at this. 6,500 watt generator, $899. It is a Briggs and Stratton mower, a motor, so it'll probably work for a day or two. Plenty of your 40 volts uh, blowers here for 149. Looks like they have at least eight of them.
How you doing, Brad? Hey, what's going on? Nothing. You living the dream? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I hear you. <laughs> How you doing? I know. It's me. What? Why are you on here? Live stream. Live stream? Yeah. How many viewers you got? Well, uh, 30 right now. Hey, guys. Hey. How's it going? What Some like friendly Home Depot. Depot. My channel. Oh, you have a channel? Yeah. 32. Look, you guys are improving it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys have a good one. <laughs> All right. One last thing to look at, and then... I think so. <laughs> One last thing to look at before I head out of here. I have a good relationship with my Home Depot. So I know a lot of you guys are looking for like home improvement projects right now. So look at all these globe lights. The vintage stuff is on sale. Doing really good. I like that one. Sorry, my cart ectomy was today. Here. Up on you. I uh, see that. Ha. What the heck? I broke my foot. <laughs> you should not be going up and down on the ladders like that. I get it at home. Oh. Here's your 1.1. This is the same one that Beard found for $23, give or take. And it's 56 in this store. Uh, this particular store will price match. This is in Belton, Missouri. Are the employees at the Home Depot store nice? Uh, they're nice to me. What do you think, Sambo? Burns bad, too. <laughs> the microwave is great. Hello. Renegades, great to have you here. Wish my Home Depot weren't nice enough. Uh, I mean, a lot of times it's just, I, you paid $15 for that microwave, Pedro. That's awesome, dude. I love to hear that. Send the receipt so I can post it on my community page and let people know that that's out there. <sighs> Only problem I have with my Home Depot is you got two, well, double the pizzas at Pedram's house. Let's see. Oh, the water cascade feature, $64, six cents. Not too bad. Not too bad there. Oh, looks like they've got their Husky garden equipment already marked down. Inner tubes, leach at I, As you can tell, I'd like to take more time in the Home Depot because I do like the store more. And see, see how much more well organized their clearance section is than the Lowe's. So look, sixty-seven dollars for that rain shell. What's up, Wallace? What's going on? Nothing. How you doing? Oh, man, I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing good. You want to say hi to the people? Uh, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Ceiling fans, more lights, all kinds of good stuff. All right. Now our last trip. How you doing? Good. How you doing? I'm living the dream. <laughs> Look at this. They have all kinds of this stuff out here. $99 for the 50 gallon. Not bad. $5.98. This is a ridiculous price. I wouldn't pay that. <sighs> Sorry. Know anybody that would be into this just because it's red and black? If you do, let them know. They're nuts. <laughs> I like saving money. Home Depot clearance sections look worse than the Lowe's. Mine look great. I remember paying 48 bucks for the t the Husky 50. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That you can't get it. Skill 219. All right, back out to the car so we can make a quick run to Menards and finish up, and then I can actually do some shopping today y'all enjoying this so far your home depot sucks yeah my home this home depot in particular is my favorite to go to even though it's the smallest 
and the hardest to find deals in. I like it a lot. I, I like it a whole lot. Uh, the employees, as you can see, are really friendly. Hold that. I gotta put on my... Don't show that guy's license plate. I can't see it. Uh, the employees at this one are really friendly. So, I do like it. Good so far. Thank you. I appreciate you being here, Jonathan. I really do. My state. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to go down, down to Arizona one time just to walk through a Home Depot. I want to see. Because, like, my Home Depot is around here. This one's exceptionally clean. Uh, very helpful. Very friendly folks. Uh, I like them a lot. So, it does make it easier. Look at that. I can watch myself drive on my my wife's phone while I'm driving. <laughs> oh look, a big semi. Let's hit it. Let's not. She said not to hit it, folks. We're gonna have to go around it. Don't worry, I already looked to see if the truck was moving out in front of it, and it was, so we're good. Uh, we got about, oh, a two minute drive, give or take, to Menards. And I will take you through my favorite my favorite store for tool deals which is not your nards not my nards but my nards always got to throw in a nards joke when you're talking about my nards there it is right over there <sighs> let's go they want 60 cents the microwave is on clearance. I uh, don't know. Never pass up an opportunity to hit it. Yes. Robert. Robert with the joke. Love it. You Have you guys ever been on a live stream where you've seen the dude drive from store to store? Let me know. Uh, just, just post it because, uh, you know, I feel kind of dangerous. <laughs> like Darkwing Duck dangerous. Let's see, uh, how many points for each pedestrian I hit? No, well, there's one coming, so I gotta avoid him. Uh, and look, look at this, turning signals, folks. They're there for a reason, use them. Helpful tip of the day. All right. It's first for me? <laughs> All right, well. 911 dangerous? 911 dangerous? No, no. Two Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, two Walmart, two or three short. Uh, BW, is this about my normal day? Goofy clumsy. I've seen people drive, Robert. There, there you go. Jeremy, see? I'm not the only one. Your <laughs> calls again. All right. Let's go in. And uh, see what's going on. You coming? <laughs> I was reading. Hey, you guys, Smurf is coming with me to this store. Lock it. There she is, guys. Buckle up for safety and remove when, <laughs> when you're being chased. Never been to Menards. Looking forward to that. Well, you're in the right spot then. Chris, we're going to have fun. This is another one of those stores where they feel the need to ask you every few minutes how you're doing and if you need any help. No, actually. Sorry about that, folks. Lost connection there while we went into Menards. Trying to switch over to Wi-Fi, but the Wi-Fi won't connect unless you sign in. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to go mobile data, which means it could get hairy. But I like to live dangerously. Johnny, dangerously. <sighs> Wanna look at the clearance first? Why is, why use the blinker? Of course I know, I need to do, but cut me off, what else besides? Just wear it out. Uh, I, I leave plenty of blinker fluid in my blinkers to avoid 
uh, it not working. So, some Lennox stuff on sale. This. The screwdriver with the guide, $6.99. This looks like a nut driver. Oh, look at that. Two piece electric. Screwdriver set for $14.99. Not a great deal on that. Make sure you don't forget my milk. Uh, I got it. You're going to get it straight from the bull, Pedram. I still want ice cream. <laughs> No, no problem. I'll get you some ice cream too. See, Menards has these little areas in every aisle or just about every aisle where they have rude people. No, I mean markdown stuff. So here's your Lennox 6-in-1 nut driver. Very comparable to the Klein. Not as good quality though. I will say that. And I do prefer the Klein. The garbage uh, wrenches down there for set $12.99. 168 piece. Not going down there. I, I like to do this when I go through Menards so you guys can understand how much bigger the tool section is here than what you're used to at Home Depot, at Lowe's, and at Ace Hardware. We're still going. We're still going. And this is the end right here with the pneumatic. So two gallon tool shop air compressor, uh, third house, uh, third horse, 10111. I'm sorry, if you guys don't have a Menard, you're you're missing out. So more of the air compressor stuff. I'm not really an air compressor guy, I think it's dead. Or dying 139 for the six gallon Matabo HPT pancake air compressor. I don't know why you would pay $249 for the house brand when you can get the Matabo for 139 But they, they have it listed there. Oh, this is a 20 gallon. Sorry, it's a 20 gallon air compressor for $249. Finney, F-I-N-I, 119 for the five gallon air tank, 139 for the six gallon house brand compressor. Yes, I agree with you, Antonio. Lewis, not much, how you doing? Just living the dream. I wish we had a Menards. Everybody wishes they had a Menards when they go through it. Got to save money if you have it. Yeah. Um, nope. Can't go down there. I kind of pick and choose. Is that Munchie, Indiana? No, I am in uh, Belton, Missouri. So a little job site miter saw stand for $59.99. Not a great stand, but a great price. This is the one item that I want to bring to the channel. The Bora Porta Cube Miter Saw Station. This is my favorite. That, like, if you've ever seen it or used it, I mean, it's just outstanding. Uh, all metal construction has wheels so you can move it around. Thing is phenomenal. Uh, this store does not have a display set up or I'd show it to you, but they do have. The Dust Deputy from Oneida, the whole kit, $99.95, and it comes with two five-gallon buckets, the separator, and a hose for it. You can just get them separate for $39.95, where it's just the, just the plastic Dust Deputy there. Acne deal on the miter bar stand. Yeah, I want one. It was down to $329. Menards, what do you eat it with? Um, if you guys have watched Harold and Kumar escape from Guantanamo Bay, it's what they wanted to eat at Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> Club Gitmo. Look at this. $249 for the uh, compound miter saw, 
Metabo HPT, 119 for the 10 inch, just the compound miter slot, not the slider. Uh, this store did have the Metabo, and it looks like they sold out. This store did have the Metabo 36 volt uh, dual bevel compound miter saw for $319. There's your skill up there. Look at this. This is a ridiculous price. $629 for a worm drive miter saw uh, from Skill. I mean, I know Skill makes a great product, but $629 for that? <laughs> oh. It's nice. Yes, it is nice. Senko. Uh, finish nailer, 15 gauge and 18 gauge, 112 35, 11% off of everything here at Menards. Power tools are over there. We got this aisle to go through. So you've got the Wen, this is their five inch random orbit sander for $18.99, the palm sander for $19.99. Uh, don't buy it just don't buy it even though it's cheap i mean one time use got get it sixteen dollars 84 cents for that not bad robert is going to to look at chat and wonder why people are talking about mouth uh already there already there skill belt sander for 49.99 actually it looks like actually it looks really good i like the filter back here that'll help you anything to save your lungs i like well, I'm not Dolly Parton or anything, but I have big lungs. Look at this. The sanding rolls they've got on sale for six bucks. If you guys have not used CMT blades, eleven dollars eleven ninety-eight for the CMT blades. These are some of the best blades on the market today. Everyone should uh, at least give them a shot. When I did my recip saw challenge where I tested all the blades, one store gave all of them to me except for DeWalt and Milwaukee. Over Diablo, yes, over Diablo. CMT, uh, for most serious woodworkers, they know CMT makes an amazing, uh, an amazing blade, so they will actually use those quite a bit. Look at this. Uh, you guys that are in the Milwaukee line, you're looking for a plunge cut track saw kit. Here's one at Menards from one, it's $199. And this goes on sale around Father's Day. $150. Yes, she does have some big long renegade. Blurry, I'm watching this in pixels. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm using my modal, mobile data under a metal roof, so it's as good as I can get it right now. So just stick with me, I appreciate you being here. By the way, these CMT blades, they're well worth the money. Uh, just the contractor pack of CMT blades. This is perfect for your miter saw for 40 bucks. And I don't like them just because they're orange. I like them because they're good. So you got the work screwdriver. Uh, I know Dale Bishop has the work screwdriver, $34.99. I would still go with the skill, which they do have here. This skill, $29.99, and it is a better screwdriver than the works. It's clearing up, oh no, well, you know, I can only help you. I can only do so much. They do carry the works brand stuff, works is very innovative so like they have this drill with two heads in it uh, yeah. this is a pain in the butt because it's a two-handed operation at that point but one is a drill one is an impact and you can just switch up switch it up 89 dollars just the bare tool on that $69 for the Works Cordless Angle Grinder. Not 
too bad. Rotary hammer, 20 volt rotary hammer in the skill line, 104.99. You have your uh, half inch impact wrench skill. This is their brushless impact wrench for 89.98. The planer from 159. Uh, at 159 though, I would go with the rigid because that's what you're going to pay for the rigid. Just my two cents. The oscillating tool is $89. Let me take <laughs> But it's 55 bucks for the entire kit. Here's a seven piece screwdriver kit for for $18. I might test that out. If you guys want to see me test it out. You know, uh, give me a super sticker. Let me know. These tools involved. And <laughs> that. Uh, this kit, if you were a subscriber to my channel, this kit was $299 here at this store two weeks ago. It's now $670, which is crazy. But well 649 dollars for that kit but same kit same location was 299 just a few weeks ago the scale circ saw uh, cordless circ saw kit is 89.88 same as the recip saw kit the 18 volt metabo Hammer drill, $159.98, actually cheaper at other locations, so I would not buy it here at Menards. But I would get this one. This mine drill here, amazing drill. The triple hammer still wants $69. Uh, this, until about two weeks ago, was $99. Bucks. So I know it'll go down. I wouldn't buy it. Uh, I wouldn't be in a rush to buy it. Bosch four tool combo kit. So the freak, the hammer drill, the flashlight, the recip saw, $249. So go for darker green, avoid lights, <laughs> avoid light greens. Got it. Absolutely 100%. Unless you're talking about these ones, the Master Force, Master Force made by Shervon, who also makes skill and flex. I would avoid these tools. They're house brand tool, um, not high quality, very low quality, akin to Ryobi. Uh, though, with a tool, uh, with a kit like this, with the battery, the char, and the two two batteries and a charger for 149, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Cody, we're glad to have you back. Cryobi is light green. Me. Yes, ma'am. No, there's a, by the way, we haven't gotten to their outdoor power section or their clearance items yet. Uh, one of my favorite. What's wrong with the light green tools? They're garbage. <laughs> Whew, the Metabo router. Oh my God, that is so nice. The adjustment on this is fantastic. Dang, 129 for that. This is one of the few places that you can get a biscuit joiner on the shelf that's not hobo freight for $2.19 in the Porter Cable line. And we know that Porter Cable's leaving this store, so look for that markdown on that coming soon. Yeah, by the way, other side here. CMT multi-cutter head, $11.22. That's not bad. I don't know about their multi tool. Huh. You want that seven piece kit? Can't find it anywhere. Uh, I know it's going to be difficult. Multi cut saw at $79.99. $37.99 for the smaller one. I don't, I don't really ever have a need for one of these, so I don't feature them. Uh, I know how to cut stuff. Here's your egg. Oh, $16.99 for the six and a half inch uh, pipe clamp kit from Irwin. 
you can buy these in store on shelf uh, they had these before Home Depot and Lowe's so amazing kits often find sales right here on the Craig stuff as Robert from Tools and Tactics will tell you I tease him every time he calls me when I'm in Menards because I'm like oh you don't have this let's see angle grinder for 35 bucks bench grinder for 39.99 a six inch bench grinder for 45 bucks. Uh, all, well, all no name brands, things I would avoid. The Master Force SES bits are pretty good. I've used them at work. Oh, nice, I did not know that. How to censor everything with it when going live. Uh, Chaka Gillis. Chaka Chaka. Hey, my device auto health is cool. uh, good. That's nice. You guys didn't give me a virus while we were on here doing a live stream. Drywall stuff. I don't drywall. I save that for somebody else. <sighs> the Irwin band clamp. Eleven ninety nine. The number two square. Nine ninety nine. Actual vice grips. Those are nice. Eight bucks. So a lot of the Irwin stuff on sale. Very bad, at least on my end. The video is blurry. I can't see close up. How's the Smurfette doing? She is she goes grocery shopping. And I know the that's a man that is amazing. Thank you guys upstairs at Menards. They have a clearance section up that we are going to one line for the barrel grip don't ever grip it by the barrel you'll end up hurting your chest. dado stack for my bro it's probably not pronounced my bro but i like saying it my bro 69.99 for that so you've got your seneco uh rex drive Crescent screwdrivers, bunch of clearance items. This is their clearance section. 12 inch finish blade, and that is the Master Force. 10 inch Bosch blades. Not great prices on that. Move this to the side. $89.99. Mabo brush. Drill driver, impact driver, batteries, charger, and a bag. Outstanding prices. $69.99 for the standard Metapo HPT. Having some connection issues, so I'm just going to go ahead and end the stream right now. Thank you all for being here. Thanks for watching, y'all. Good one.